So, so if someone calls you up and is like, "Hey, I want, I guess, to educate me in con- you know, consultation or whatever," you know, tell me, tell, take me through the process. How does all that work? For sure. So, you know, what we will normally do is we'll normally kind of come into somebody's home and really be able to kind of look at their environment, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let's look at your roof. Like, do you have shading issues? You know, can your electric system um, handle yeah. this? Like, is, is, do you have a really old electric panel or do you have a newer electric panel? Um, you know, which way does your roof face? Because, you know, our solar panels only produce the same amount of electricity. Mm-hmm. Now, it depends on which way they're facing, at what angle they are. Sure. And so we've got to be able to look at somebody's environment and say, OK, we can put panels here and it'll produce this much. Mm. And then we can get to what the cost would be and then show people what the return on investment is. But where we normally start is we normally start with people um, understanding how much they're paying currently for electricity. Sure. And so, you know, the average Oklahomans pays pays about $150 a month for their electric bill. And what they what a lot of people don't realize is that the national average increase is 3.4%. And so what we do is we we literally show people what that means for them long term because our systems come with a 25 year warranty, but they're going to last for 30 plus years. Right. So what we do is we look and we say, okay, do you realize that that $150 a month payment will be $415 a month in 30 years, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you'll spend a total of $93,000 yeah. in electricity. So it's kind of like when you look at it from that angle, and you're like, yeah, our systems aren't sure. cheap. But we can normally get somebody into a system that's financed at 0.99% right. at or below what they're already paying for their electricity. So it's kind of like, do you want to just have that expense that you're paying every single month? Yeah. Or do you want to invest in your energy future? Because at the end of that term, uh-huh. you own it. And yeah. at that point, you're not paying anything for it. Right. Do you get – so do a lot of people say to you, you know, you know, like one of the things that comes up obviously is I'm not going to be living in my house very long. And most of your customers and clientele older then, that they're going to – they're kind of in their forever home or they know they're going to be there for a while? You know, that, that's definitely one of the questions that yeah. we always have with our customers is, hey, how long do you anticipate being here? Um, if our customers are like, look, there's no way I'm going to be here for more than five years, mm-hmm. then we tell them, look, this might not be right for you right now. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not because actually um, – Having solar on your home, there's, there was a national study done in uh, 2018, and they looked at 12.8 million homes that had solar. And those sol- those homes that had solar, they had an increased value of about 4.1%. Yeah. Which is a so, decent amount of you know, money. Yeah. $15,000, $15, yeah. $20,000 on yeah. average is really kind of what they found. And gotcha. so when you really kind of take that and kind of put that into perspective, and then you also pair it with the fact that right now there's a 26% federal tax credit. Okay. So whatever you pay, you're going to get a 26% sure. federal tax credit to apply to your tax liability. Yeah. So... If you've already paid in all of your taxes for the year and you you put that on top of it, then you're going to get a refund for that 26%. Mm-hmm. So when you look at it that way, when you look at you know the money that you're getting back yeah. in the tax credit and the fact that it's going to add value to your home, sure. it, re- it doesn't take a, a long time to be able to kind of recoup what that cost is yeah, going to be. Yeah. When you go and you search for clients then based on like that, I guess that those numbers, do you kind of start at the higher end of homes then rather than like your average i mean what's yukon right now in the 200s or maybe you know rough low to average price of a house in yukon for example will be i think it's just over 200 maybe mm-hmm. and those people probably aren't going to be there for five to seven years maybe yeah before they move might be a first home for example or whatever yeah for sure well so th- that's the interesting thing like if people ask us hey like what's that perfect client for you yeah. right well Really, anybody that owns their home sure. is that perfect yeah. client. But you definitely have a good point where if, if it's somebody that's in their forever home or they're kind of settled and they know they're going to be there for a while, yeah, that's definitely a much better candidate. Um, but we're seeing people all the time that are that are wanting to go ahead, and even though they might only be there for 10 years or 12 years. I read a study that said that, that even people that think they're going to move quickly or, or normally in their house for 12 years. Yeah. Well, at 12 years, it's definitely worth it. Right. I mean, you definitely will be able to recoup your money. Yeah. Um, on on that investment, yeah. right, normal the normal return on investment on a system is about ten years. Okay, so I mean, 
for yeah for example like i said if i mean if if someone like for me like we growing up in the uk that out here everyone moves a lot sooner like i i mean i moved out here when i was 21 i lived in two houses my entire life right mm-hmm. whereas out here it's like you know we could ask anybody and they've probably lived in seven houses and they're like mid 40s or whatever <laughs> um so the best of the process when you come out and you look at shading and i mean what is like pitches a roof are different obviously where your roof faces like what is the best way for someone's roof to face i mean i'm sure people listening have no idea what that the yeah so that so is. so the optimal azimuth or the yeah. optimal direction is 181 degrees south okay so literally just due south and the optimal angle is 30 degrees okay and so if you're at 181 degrees south at 30 degrees that's going to produce best over the entire year mm-hmm. now you see these these systems these utility grade systems that have these trackers right and yeah. to where it'll it'll face the east in the morning and it faces the west at night well obviously if you put some type of motion in it, you can get a better production out of mm-hmm. it. But if it's a fixed, um, if it's a fixed tilt system, yeah, due south at thirty degrees is is the optimal angle. And mm-hmm. I'd say probably about thirty percent of our customers they opt to do a ground mount system. Okay, so they actually like mount it on poles out in their yard or or on their farm or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and so at, at that point, um, they can actually get the optimal uh, yeah. the optimal angle and the optimal capture of that production. So, so when you install it, if it is on on a pole in the backyard, if mm-hmm. you install it, can they uninstall it and take it to the new house, or is it just locked in and? No, I mean is that you, you, you definitely do? can. I mean, really, it, a ground mount system is probably the easiest sure. system to kind of take with you yeah. and go somewhere else. Um, we've had two situations to where people had bought homes. I mean, bought systems from us, and they needed to sell their homes. One had was being transferred and one had lost their job. And so they were, they had been, uh, they had bought a system from us. We have an independent financing company that finances yeah. these systems. And so they needed to be able to get out of the loan and be able to move on. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had met with their realtor and they had talked to him about what yeah. what they needed to get out of it. And the realtor's like, look, this, is, this isn't worth anything. Mm-hmm. Like this, I'm sorry, but like, this just isn't going to yeah. give you any more value. Yeah. And so I said, look, give me their names and numbers. And I picked up the phone and I called them. And I was able to explain to them kind of, you know, what was the customer spending before on electricity? Mm-hmm. And what were they spending after we had installed that system? Yeah. And kind of showed them what that value was. And uh, in both cases, they raised their listing price to be able to cover the remaining portion of the loan. Uh, one of the customers I know for sure got asking price yeah. because it was somebody that wanted solar. Right. And so they were able to get asking price at a price for what it needed to. So they were able to kind of, yeah. you know, uh, fulfill that loan. The other person, he wouldn't tell me exactly what he got. But what he did tell me was at the end of the day, he was happy yeah. with, with how it ended up. Sure. So, you know, I, you know, we definitely look for people that are going to be in their homes um, kind of long term yeah. or at least for five to ten years. Yeah. But it doesn't always happen. That sure. Way. I mean, from like from a real estate agent's perspective, like you kind of the way I'm kind of thinking of it now is like when someone's got a pool, right, it adds value to their house for the most part. When someone has solar, it's clearly looking that way, right? That's mm-hmm. how, how you should view it if you've got clients coming in or if you're trying to sell it. That's how you should explain it because like I said, when you show those numbers, you know, hang on, this is already installed too, which I mean, paying for it in a loan is much easier, right? When For you're sure. buying a house, well, think about you don't that even think because about it. you know then your then your interest is tax deductible yeah. and everything else, and so yeah. it definitely makes sense to buy a home that has it, so that that way mm-hmm. you're able to put it into your into your first mortgage. Yeah.